Um, so um, I, I'd love to know why you thought this was a great program to be involved in and why Cancer Care wanted to collaborate on this particular initiative. Uh, that's a, a pretty easy answer, I think, in a lot of ways. And, and the videos certainly reflect, I think, the power um, of a person's experience and what that could mean to other people. So this program uh, is incredible and so meaningful, I think, for anyone who comes into contact with it. Cancer Care has been involved in it um, for three years. And you know we've certainly brought it to a lot of different people and heard responses and gotten really good feedback about it. And it's the the thing that it does, I think, that really reaches sort of across the cancer community, is that it touches on the things and really directly addresses what patients, what caregivers, um, I would say even what professionals and advocates are are looking for, which is support. Uh, resources, information, which is so important in going through this, and guidance. And it, you know, it provides all of that. And, and the, the crux of that, like the core, um, is connection. So we've heard that word already. I was like listening to everyone, and we've heard that word a lot already tonight. And connection is really at the heart of what cancer care does. Um, this is what we do. We build connections for patients, for caregivers, for professionals, for anyone across the cancer community. Um, and as I just said that, I, you know, I think that it's, it is, it's about building community, and this program does that. You, we, I was talking to everybody who's involved with this campaign about what kind of feedback uh, you've received, and I know Cancer Care has received feedback. I get a lot of people uh, talking to me on my Instagram feed if I post something and, you know, if I post a, a photo of Jay or I post uh, a video from the campaign. And I'm curious about some of the feedback you all have gotten here at Cancer Care and elsewhere. So in terms of the feedback, it's been, I think, across the board, um, positive and affirming and in sometimes just emotionally overwhelming. You know, I think, you know, going back to that idea of, of connection, we brought this program to a lot of different people. And that includes uh, clients and patients and caregivers, it includes advocates. Uh, and again, the response is, is overwhelmingly positive um, and very emotional. You I brought think. a few comments, I think, that people I had. I did, yeah, I so. did, and I'd love to read them <laughs> to you guys. Um, so I'm gonna start with, uh, a comment from Ebony, and she wrote, love this campaign. It is so important for current cancer fighters, their caregivers and survivors, to connect with others who know the pain and anxiety that comes with a cancer diagnosis. And we have another one here from Steve, and Steve writes, thank you for those who shared their stories. Going through a cancer diagnosis is extremely frightening. I feel less alone. And lastly, uh, we have one from Anonymous, um, but this is one I found particularly powerful. Thank you so much for sharing. I lost my husband in 2007 to melanoma. I totally understand this. I was his cheerleader, knowing the odds were very much against us. So as, as an oncology social worker, you know, <clears throat> I was thinking about the incredible service you provide to families. Mm -hmm but not everyone has access mm -hmm. to someone like you. So in many ways, do you think this community and these messages can provide a lot of emotional comfort for these families? Absolutely. Um, you know, so if you are living somewhere maybe where you don't have access um, to a service, I will say we're a national organization, we're available. So if wherever you are in the country, if you're needing that service, we can be there for you. Um, but for someone who may not know about it, if they were to come across this on social media where there's a huge presence, if they were to Google it and, and see it and go and watch these videos, the, the profoundness, and I think we saw this in the videos, what it does to let you feel less alone, which you so eloquently spoke about, uh, what it's like to go through this, whether you're a patient or a caregiver, that feeling of being alone and to know that there's another person out there that actually gets it. Uh, because they've been through it, they've walked in your shoes. It's incredibly powerful. I wanted, before you go, Sarah, before yeah. we uh, introduce some of the, f well, the folks that you just saw 
in those videos, uh, I just wanted to mention how supportive cancer care was to me when my husband was diagnosed. You know, our daughters, Ellie, were, were five and one at the time. And when Jay died, Ellie was in first grade. And I was terribly concerned about how to handle this situation with my daughters. Obviously, Carrie was so young. She was just two. But I called cancer care. And they did the most, uh, I think, incredible thing for me. You came to Ellie, a representative, not you personally, but someone came to Ellie's first grade class and they put this gold cup in the middle of a circle of little girls. She was at an all girls school and they called it the worry cup. And they gave every little girl one of those kind of fake gemstones and they all put it it in the cup and one at a time, they went around the circle and said what they were worried about. This was when Jay was diagnosed and hadn't passed away. And all these little girls basically shared and just uh, let their emotions go and talked about what was worrying them because I wanted to make sure Ellie didn't feel alone because when you're a child, you just don't wanna feel different. And I remember Donna Friel, who was Ellie's teacher at the time, said it was the most profound experience she had ever had as a teacher, and she'd been teaching for a number of years. So I just personally want to thank Cancer Care for providing me with those tools to help my daughter feel less alone and actually to unburden a lot of little girls of their fears and anxieties. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you.